Now that the belly burn's done, you're probably wondering what is next. So what we want to do is actually rinse and repeat the peak week. So what I want you to do is start your calories on Sunday. Saturday, I want you to absolutely enjoy your day, refeed your body, give the muscles what they need, but expect that Sunday you're just not going to feel great and Monday you're probably going to be exhausted. So next week, we're going to start you on Sunday. I want you to start your last week's calories on Sunday, and then we're going to do Monday, where you start your Monday and Tuesday, where it's going to be higher calories and higher carbs, okay? But this time around, we're not going to do any of the water dropping. We're just going to focus on the nutrition itself. And so Monday, Tuesday is going to be your higher calories, higher carbs. On Wednesday, we're going to still go higher carbs, but now we're going to start to increase the amount of protein and decrease the amount of carbs. Thursday, we're going to pretty much get rid of all of your carbs, where it's going to be a 50% protein, 25% carbs, 25% fats. And then on Friday, we're going to do the deeper fast, which is going to be your Friday calories, which is all protein with the intermittent fasting. And then what I want you to do is do another photo and do another measurement on Saturday. And let's see what your real progress is after doing five weeks of a belly burn challenge. Let's see if you can get this done on your own. Now what I've done is ask Neri to build out her post peak week plan. And she's going to build this out in MyFitnessPal to give you a template of what you can be following when it comes to this extra week. Now let's jump into the nitty gritty of our reverse diet plan. So Saturdays are our celebration days. After those weigh-ins and photos, it's time to enjoy some well-deserved treats. Remember, it's essential to refill those muscles with carbs after a challenging week. But here's the deal. If we continue the celebration for another day or two, our bodies might store the excess as fat. Enjoy today, but let's get back on track tomorrow. Moving on to Sunday, it's all about balance. Let's get those macros in check and aim for a mid-level calorie intake. You can still incorporate some indulgences, but make sure they fit into your overall calorie and protein goals. Whether it's carbs or fats, it doesn't matter as much as hitting your target calories and protein. Now on Monday, it's time to reverse the plan. We won't cut water, we'll normalize it. Expect some early week hunger, but that massive refeed on Saturday is all about getting back into cutting mode. We're gradually building up to a normal calorie intake that keeps you fueled for your workouts without feeling starved or stuffed. It's the sweet spot for fat burning. Quick side note about supplements. Reverse the plan from the first week and for a mental reset, take a break from the fat burners for two days during the week. Your body and mind will thank you. And don't forget to have your green shake with essential amino acids and spinach at 11 a.m. daily. And there you have it, Fit Fam, our reverse diet plan to keep shredding fat post belly burn. If you're ready to crush your fitness goals, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Neri's Kitchen for more tasty and healthy recipes every week. Remember, it's all about progress, not perfection. Until next time, stay fit and fabulous.